Yo, this is Joey from Anthrax, and I want y'all used to put your horns up now. We're at the last chapter of the fifth edition of the Rockstar Energy Mayhem Festival, and we're with Joey from Anthrax. How are you, brother? Oh, it's just fine. Final it's show. Man, Tell man, us man. Your, your thoughts about the festival. I mean, the experience you just had for the last month or so. Well, you know, this is the first, one of the first ones I've ever done that's been a rolling tour with everyone, the catering. All the, the same bands and stuff like that, like is you know in the in the uh, the size of it with a double stage, so it's um, it's turned out great. I mean it's been very very well run, and uh, we're having a blast, you know. How's been the response of the public to worship music? It's been great. I mean uh, it's so hard to say when you do a record you're gonna get what you think you might get out of it. You just don't have any idea. You just feel happy about what you've achieved as far as the record itself. And if people dig it, that's just more more for you to, to enjoy, but it's been enormous, you know. And it's been quite a year since you guys put it out. Last September, right before the big four show in Yankee Stadium hometown show was Anthrax Day. And now you're here in the Mayhem Fest. So, you know, this whole year has definitely treated Anthrax very, you know, finally you're getting kind of like that kind of positivity back that you guys deserve. Well, I, I wasn't around when they weren't getting it, if they were getting it. So all I can say is I'm... I'm here to just do what I've always done is try to, you know, sing well and you know and make make the show run the way I like it and you know the way we like to run you know like the old days. So, you know, I, I just think everything we do now is just a positive way of thinking. You know, we just we're trying to reach more of a goal as a band. You know. And what do you tell us? What you guys kind of. Told, you know, you guys told Mayhem Fest you wanted to headline the second stage. What was that decision? When, instead of the big stage, what did you guys want to do the second stage? I don't know, it just seemed like at that time of the night, people are still strolling in the seats, you know. It's a little, I mean, not that seats are stale. It's just, you know, and I, I, I could be one of those people that sit in the seat and enjoy a show and not move around. But it's kind of fun to be out there in the crowd with, a, with a, just a, a flat ground. Where people want to bang heads, smoke cigarettes, do whatever or, you know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> you know, you know, any anything you want to do is just kind of get reckless, you know. And out of all the crowds, all the towns that you visited, which ones are the ones that stand out for you guys? Ooh, uh, there's some days that have been the real hot ones, like Phoenix and Oklahoma. I mean, on the on the heat side, I'm talking like faint type, like pass out type of heat. Um, you know what? They've all been really, really good. I mean, honestly, uh, all the shows I haven't. I haven't witnessed anything that's been awfully, you know, unsatisfactory, if I may say. You know, it's just everybody's come here to have a good time. It's like a vacation of metalheads. Yeah, you know, I call I call it the Anthrax Barbecue. You know, <laughs> a lot of friends and here for the last show of Hartford, Connecticut. What are the expectations for the last show for you guys? Before you kind of you guys are gonna take a breather and then you're going back with Testament and Death Angel. So how are your thoughts? How are you guys feel right now? Well, you know, everybody's like that wrap up kind of thing. You know, uh, just gather everything that needs to go to the next place. People, you know, engaging to go home and stuff. I, I mean, I think the show's going to be fun, you know, because we're just going to let it fly. I, I don't think we have anything super planned. You know, 40 minutes goes by so quick. I mean, but I, I just think we're just going to have a good day today and we're just going to have fun and let it roll. How was the decision making of having to cut your set short as you have 40 minutes versus the hour, hour and a half that you guys are used to doing? Oh, that's what we were offered, 40 minutes. We 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 didn't no, like suggest that we want to do 40 minutes or more. We didn't. It was set. Here's your here's an offer. You want to play? You want to you know headline or be on the tour? I'll give you 40 minutes and that's it. I mean, we didn't have any other options really. And how is this song selection process? How do you guys go through that? Because you have a lot of tunes that everyone else is hearing. Of course, you have the new song for worship music. So how do you guys combine those two things? I don't know. You just you just try to spread it out, you know, par, par album, you know. And um, there's a time frame on every song. Our songs are long, so you kind of got to get the pocket there where a 40 minutes will fit. You don't want to go too under and have hardly any songs or, you know, too long of songs. And if it's too long, the set's obviously too long, and we're in big trouble there. We don't want to do that. That's not a, not the way to run a tour like this because everything is due on time. You know, they have to move to the next stage, the next band, the changeover, and all that good stuff. So you just can't can't really. I mean, we don't, we don't have songs that are short anyhow. We're we're kind of stuck in that mode of like certain songs are going to find their way through there. I mean, we didn't get deep into the catalog and stuff, and nor have we really have we done that, you know. I mean, I hardly know half the older songs at the point we go at now. 
you know, it's, we know which ones that work, you know. Now let me ask you something, because for this tour you have Jason Bender on the drums with you guys, and obviously not having Charlie on stage, is, is, is it a different vibe? Is it very different for you guys? You know, it's always different when you got somebody in there that's not in the band. Jason's doing a great job, you know, I mean, uh, we can't, can't say enough about how, you know, we've got along as far as getting the set down, and, you know, he knows the songs. Um, I haven't seen anything that's been troubling. No one's really had any complaints, you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, we wouldn't offer someone that might not have been able to do the job, you know, of course. So, yeah, it's, it's fine. But, you know, we miss Charlie and we, we wish he was around, you know. Of course. <laughs> so, Is he going to be back soon with you guys? I don't know. You know, I'm not sure. He's, uh, I haven't really had any contact with him that much. You know, I know he's uh, healing and all that stuff. So I'm sure he'll figure it out one way or the other. And if We'll just go business as usual. That's right, he's got to take care of other things first, and you guys got to keep going, and the show must go on. Yeah, well, that's for sure. I mean, I, I, I assume that's the way it goes. Sometimes you can't, you know. Sometimes it's just not, you're not able to continue because of other reasons, you know. And Joe, before we get out of here, what do you think this time around has helped the anthrax of violation? Because you guys tried it, the, I mean, especially before you came back, they had like a huge roller coaster. What do you think this time around is working for you guys as a band? I think it's all natural, you know. It's really one of those things where, like, I don't. I, when I come in, I don't think of like, oh, I got to do this or I haven't done this. I got to do that. I just try to focus, try to be professional, and you know, make it a, make it a business that runs well and something that the band can, uh, uh, you know, achieve on a better plateau that way. I mean, musically, I mean, we're really in touch. We haven't really skipped the beat on that kind of thing, and that that certainly helps because. I mean, we're not out there fooling around. I mean, we do really pay attention to what we need to do musically. Um, I mean, for me, I don't do anything different, really. I just, I just wing it, man. <laughs> do your thing. Yeah, just wing it. I, I don't want to have fun. I don't want to like worry about where I got to stand, what I got to say. You know, I just like to, I just like to fly. You know. Yeah, you're quite the front man, man. I mean, honestly, like, I think for anybody watching, one thing that is really cool about seeing Anthrax these days is your energy because it's kind of like you kind of never left the band. It's like, oh, you know, as you said, it's very natural. Yeah, it's like I, I didn't have to think of what, what I needed to do. I know it was just, when I first got into now, it's just this is what I do and this is how I, how I like to do it, and I don't think about it. So it's not like every time I get out, I'm like, oh, man, it's like, God, I, you know. Occasionally a few words might slip my brain, but other than that, I mean, I don't have anything planned really, you know. Obviously, once things work, I mean, I may kind of do some of the antics in certain sections, but uh, other than that, I, I just, just like to go out and, you know, let it fly. So which ones are the hardest songs, as you said, that for you vocally singing them? Vocally singing? Uh, you know, I mean, some songs are a little faster that are, that can get a little, uh, you know, like when you hear when stuff flies by and it's like, oh man, you know, like can you miss a spot? But, you know, vocally, none of it's really that hard. It's just, you know, you have to really pay attention to the, 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 the movement of the songs and the, and the volume so you know what you're doing and know where you're at, you know. All right, Joey, I want to thank you, brother. Thank you. Have an awesome show yeah. tonight and All keep right. rocking, man. Thank you. is mad because the fifth edition of the Rockstar Energy Mayhem Festival is coming to an end.